Hey there, welcome back. My name is Anup, and today we are going to learn how to transfer large files using vTransfer. So let's get started. So we are on the official site of vTransfer, which is vTransfer.com. I have given the link in the description. You have to go there and then you have to select simply on which email you want to send the notification. So let's say you want to send it to our team. You can send contact at nextj.com and then your own email. So like uh, my own email is anup at nextj.com. Then you have to write message, whatever message you want to, it's totally option. So let's say you are saying uh, category and product images and excel files so you have written this so once uh, our team will receive this particular mail and they will get this description so they'll, they will identify and then you have to just write the project name uh, because lots of clients send us the, in the same format so it will be easy for us to identify for, uh, for which product which project this particular file is so let's say i'm talking about my own website for the next day.com then you have to add this is the main thing then you have to add the files once you click on this then you have to select your category.zip so let's say we are selecting this category.zip so we have added and we can add up to 2 gb from here so then you have to just click on transfer once we will click on the transfer it will take some time so let's say oh they have put a verification code so i'll get a verification code over here so I'll back and I'll paste the verification code then I'll verify this. Once I verify this it will start transferring the file and it will take much time if your images or your file is heavy because it first upload then transfer. So file has been transferred successfully. So I hope you got better understanding and if you like this video just hit the like button. And in case you want to get more updates on WordPress then subscribe the channel by hitting the red button. Thank you. Bye-bye.